it is Vlogmas. Um, it is December 7th. Oh my gosh, I thought yesterday was December. No, I didn't. I thought it was December. <laughs> I am working on an email in MailChimp right now for the farmers that I told you that I work with. And it's called the Pleasance Valley Agriculture Association. Um, my friend David Lewis is an amazing artist and he designed this logo and then I did the graphics and stuff and like just made it like did some stuff with the color and sort of did the, you know, made it oval, but we love this logo cause it's like in this area, there's like these golden hills and it's also known for growing like alfalfa and stuff, but then also fruit trees. And this is not supposed to be an orange tree, but it does kind of look like one. But anyways, it doesn't matter. It's artistic liberty, right? Um, so this, and this is actually, the picture in the background is from Girl on the Hill. I did not take this. I just got this from their website because they're part of the association. But um, this whole area burned up there. They have a Airbnb and beautiful lavender products and stuff. But anyways, they're whole all of this I drove up here to help uh, a girl a friend of mine um, find her wedding ring in her house burned down she's on top she's even higher up than these people and um, I drove up there and I was just I was just gutted you know because there's like nothing I mean I'd like to drive up again now it's, now that it's been like four months I don't think there's a lot gonna be happening up there but it really looks like a bomb went off but but anyway, so this llama picture, I took this because there's a llama, alpaca, sorry, alpacas, not llamas. These alpacas, I took this picture because this is at Menagerie Hill Ranch. That's one of the farms here. This I did not take. I love this picture of Soul Food Farms Chocolate Lab. And there's two of them, and I can never remember. I can't tell them apart when I see them, so I don't know which one that is. Um, Dixie or, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank on the other one. Dixie or, oh. Ella, Dixie or Ella. I'm like, it's a jazz singer. Anyways, and these are the miniature donkeys from Morning Sun Herb Farm. They are so cute. And then this is a truck that is at Soul Food Farm. And a lot of people do photo shoots there. I didn't take any of these pictures. I just took this one. But then I just put this, you know, garland and wood background. Um, this is in the header. Just want to like get people in the mood of like thinking about farmers when you want to shop because there's some pop-ups coming up. And so that's what I'm just trying to get, like some of the like lavender jelly. These are some of the things that will be in my um, subscription box that's gonna be bi-monthly that I told you guys about yesterday. And I don't wanna sound like salesy, but literally this is my life and I work all the time. So I don't have cute kids that I can go, look at Trevor, you know? <laughs> this is my Trevor right here, this is my Trevor. Look how cute Trevor is. No, I didn't take this picture. I got to work on it. I'm going to edit it a little bit and brighten it up. Um, but the point is that there's all these farms in the area and they're just doing like little pop-ups and stuff. So I'm just going to work on this email for a little bit. And then um, I have a lot of stuff to do today. So I hope I get through everything. Okay, but I'll try to check in here and there. And I'm also going to make today's blog way shorter and requires zero editing because that took too long yesterday and the video is too long, I think. So I'm going to work on being quicker today. Bye. Okay. So I've created this little image of one of the farms has a farm stand that's open every day, but then every day they have something different. So bread, corn chips, pizza, focaccia, soup of the week, donuts, and tamales. Oh my God. I'm so hungry now. Shit. Stay out of the black parts. Nerf balls. So I got a lot done with the computer stuff. Um, Switch between projects, editing photos. Um, got the email out regarding the farmers and shopping. Come on, Sparky Pickles. And uh, feel good about that. Um, 
the photo editing, sometimes I need like a break from stuff. To, <laughs> there's a little sparky ping. Um, in order to like do things properly. Look how cute they are. You guys are so cute. <laughs> um, anyways, I need a break from something. So even though like I just took the pictures yesterday, I feel like in order for me to see it clearly, I need to actually not see it for a second and look at things that are completely different and that helps. And then I come back to it fresh and I'm like, okay, this is what needs to be done. <sighs> it's very boring today. It's kind of a cool little peaceful day though. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> So windy today. It was psycho. It was really windy. I tried to do a little bit of video when I took Jennifer out, but it was so windy that I didn't even want to talk because it was so windy. Because I'll say it for 14 times. I really like this tree and I do think it's dead, but I hope it's not. I don't see any green or anything. Sparky! Oh, he's like a toddler. Come here. Come on, you have to go potty. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna go potty. I've decided against potty. I wish the iPhone had, the, or you could flip the camera around like you can on Snapchat while you're filming. So hold okay, on. Yeah, I put my hair up, it doesn't really make much difference. It's pretty bad. Um, it's nice to see some familiar faces that are leaving comments. Thank you guys. Feels good. Makes me feel like we're turning back to time, the hands of time. <laughs> so thank you. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna try to make this one shorter today because yesterday's felt too long. It just felt too long. I was like, why is this so long? Um, anyways, yeah, that's me just clumsily trying to do a vlog. I'm still trying to get my feet under me, so thank you for your patience. I don't know why it's so hard for me. It's just, there's a rhythm that you get into of like what to film and how much you talk and, you know, and then also it's just whatever you want it to be, man. This is like your own thing. So, thank you for watching if you're watching. <laughs> and if you're not watching, then you're not watching this part. So, what ebbs? Okay, I gotta take them in and feed them and do a couple more things. Why do dogs eat grass? I even try to give them like salmon oil, really good food. I guess, is it just a dog thing? Is there a way, are any dog expert, dog nutritionalists out there? Because I feel like I'm doing so many things to try to make sure that they don't feel like something's missing but then they run over to grass like thank god our master has finally let us free so we can get grass and on top of it this is like the first grass growing back after all the burning the burned stuff which is that good i don't know okay we're heading back in even though sparky has yet to go to the bathroom Ugh. god it's so peaceful right now though those are the water tanks. Isn't this peaceful? Without all my noises. That's the leash sound. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I can't stop filming. I don't know what's going on. I'm just, when I get back here though, when I'm sort of surrounded in nature, I start to get kind of peaceful. You know what's interesting too? <laughs> I'm like, squirrel. You know what's interesting too though is, um, is the trails that the wild animals make up the hills and you can really see them. You can see them after there's a lot of green grass, but you can see it also after the fire. It's kind of interesting. Pickles, come here. Look at this guy. Pickles. <laughs> He was born in 2009. Come here. He's our older guy. But he's like loving, kind, but a good guard dog. Smart. He understands words. Pickles, are you going to get your chicken medicine? I think I just heard like a deer or something. Come on. Come on. Let's get your chicken medicine. I don't advise that you jump from there. Oh, boy. <gasps> God, Sparky, he's such an idiot. I mean, Pickles would never do that. Sparky just doesn't think. Like, he's fun and he's whatever, but he just doesn't. He's like, whatever, leash smish. And he thinks everyone's playing with him. 
He could be playing with a corpse and be like, this is fun, isn't it? And the corpse is like, leave me alone. Actually, the corpse wouldn't say that. I'm right. I'm losing it. I got to go. Goodbye. Just when I thought we were done. That happens every day now. Sparky still hasn't gone to the bathroom, but I was walking by here and it sounded so peaceful and I wanted to bring you guys in here, even though it's all burned. Um, the vineyard is all burned, but I just want to, hopefully if Sparky doesn't make noises on the leash, you can just quietly listen. Hey, be quiet. Don't say anything right now. Hold on. Shh. Sparky. Stop. Look how cute he is. This is why he never gets in trouble because he's cute. But he does get in trouble. Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter. The point is, let's just listen to the quiet. It's like 4.30, 5 o'clock, and it's pretty dark already because, you know, it's the winter, the time changed, blah, 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 but then with those mountains there, those hills, whatever you call them, mountains, um, once the sun goes back there, it just starts getting real dark, but, oh, I just love being in here. This view right here is what I painted when I did the plein air painting, which is like painting outside, but isn't that interesting? You can still hear birds right now. If I don't see you again, I'll say bye now, but I'll probably see you again because that seems to be how I roll. Okay, bye bye. I have for a fee. Guess he's back. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to be on camera. No way. And I'm like, click. Hi. Um, hi, how are you? Wait, which way is this way and this way? Okay. Um, anyways. Yeah. I put my hair because it was looking even more crazy, but I definitely need to wash my hair. That's all I'm going to say. Um, sometimes being like on the computer a lot is like, just time goes by and you're, <laughs> you're like, what day is it? Literally, what day is it? I think it's Tuesday, right? I don't even know. Yes. I think it's Tuesday the 7th. Okay. Or Monday. Is today Mon No, today's not Monday. Today's Tuesday. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. And now I'm waiting for Jennifer to go to the bathroom. Then I have to feed the dogs. <sighs> then I get to edit this and put it up. And, um, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Today wasn't really much of a day for me, which is what I'm trying to say with all this. Because I, you know, edited all day on my computer. And I think that, um... You know, there's like no time for reflection or anything like that. That's some of the goats, bulls. I'm like, what is that? Um, yeah, so Jennifer wants me to go up in the dark area with her and I'm not going to. She's a really, like, she's one of my rescues. She's my newer rescue. Well, not newer, but like the newest one. And she's um, very sensitive to the cold. And so like her back or her hips start hurting. And um, so she can't really walk very far. Or she's going to get very sore and then she can barely get up so um yeah we'll see what happens with her i'll probably just walk her a little bit but i guess i'm gonna say bye again just in case i say bye for real this time i don't know <laughs> there is jupiter and saturn those are the ones that are going to be really bright on the 21st hold on I'm trying to hold the leash and do this you can't really see the other one it's to the left sorry it's to the left and upper, to the left and north of the bright one you can see in the middle. So it's Saturn and Jupiter and 
they're going to be appearing to be overlapping. I, I don't know if I'm repeating myself, so sorry. I gotta pull Jennifer. Um, on the 21st, they're calling it a Christmas star. It hasn't happened in 800 years. Oh my God, can you imagine? So 800 years, we're going to see something kind of cool.